All right. I'm going to give our praise on and glory to you. I'll bash me. I'll shout bash from Kakodash Bagata. I want to give double honor to the Apostle G. Master Rosewell. Peace, bless, salutation to Yakim. Let's push forth this truth. Hey, uh, I'm going to try to make this video again. My phone is froze. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I was at the 20, like 23rd mark, and the shit just fucking froze and cut off. So, um, Lord's well, you know, this, it doesn't freeze. And, um, you know, I can make this lesson. But uh, pretty much I know brothers have seen this uh, this account that happened between a father and his son. I'm going to play the video, then I'm gonna, I'll bring forth the scriptures. Like I said, I'm going to make this um, quick. You know, I don't, you know, this, this phone has been freezing up. But uh, here it is. Coweta County father tells deputies he confronted his son about having a gun in his pocket. And he says rather than turn it over, his son opened fire on him. It was all One thing, too, is when you look at Deuteronomy 21st chapter, it tells you you have a stubborn son that's glutton. He doesn't want to do anything. You pretty much, you take on amongst the priests, and they will put him to death, you know. But overall, you know, um... The image of a father, the image of being a dad, well, pretty much I'm say father, is uh, pretty much has been destroyed and murdered and butchered here in Babylon, especially starting off with the so-called black man and the so-called Latino Hispanic man. Um, you know, amongst the so-called Latinos, I know when a dad, you know, when you have a father, when you have a son, he, he takes his name. And um, I, I don't... Thing that's like a, a very thing, a close thing that it's not an important thing that they still do that now. Pretty much what I'm saying, but um, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty. I'll be honest with you, I don't, that really doesn't even happen anymore. If if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but you know, pretty much uh, starting with the so-called white man, going back, you know, and that whole agenda, going back to the Exodus, the first chapter tells you how they want to destroy men. <clears throat> you know, destroying the whole image of a man, putting the men to death, the boys, the sons to death. You know, it's, it's deeper because here it is in this society. It has been a, a hundred a all out go to destroy you so called black men, Latino, Hispanic men. You know, you you're, the women are spoiled. The so called black women. Latina and Hispanic woman, you know, the world fails to realize that when you go into the, the um, meaning of war, you know, when you kill, you kill the men off and then you kill women with, with seed. But when, you know, the women that don't, that don't know men, you pretty much, they, you take them captives and you make them spoil. And you pretty much, <clears throat> you pretty much, uh, control them you control their minds but um here it is you have we you know took the balance out the structure of the family your monogamy because polygamy is in the bible and a lot of times you know these fa these fathers they have they put seed in these women but they have other women then the women find out then they just start butchering their name Due into that the monogamy because women don't understand men. They've been taught pretty much to, pretty much say fuck fuck men. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, so-called black, Latino, Hispanic women, because they are the children. Of, they are Israelite women. And your whole, um, um, life, starting with a, a young child, you've been taught you don't need a man, and you young boys, you've been taught. Fuck your dad, fuck your father, the nigga won't shit, or whatever. So the image of a father, even you, you, you daughters, you daughters, y'all don't have no respect for your dads. So then you grow up and look at these, you know, the, your peers, which are men, and you have no respect for them. So it's all, it's an all out destruction, in but in 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 the butcher, the name of a father, the entitled. The um, the, you know, pretty much what I'm saying. The title of being a father. <clears throat> on the family 
Cowie's home security camera, as you saw there. Our Fox News' Doug Evans has more on the story now from Coweta County. Deputies say the surveillance video starts with Mario Clark leaving his father's house, the father behind him pointing a weapon at his son. The father then flinches, ducks, and runs for cover after a shot is fired in his direction. Deputies say the family shootout started when the 26-year-old Mario Clark arrived at his father's house with a gun in his pocket, a gun his father did not want in his house. So the dad saw the imprint of the gun, which is an outline of the gun, in the son's clothing, and the uh, father did not want any firearms at his residence uh, or the son to be in possession of them, so he was trying to disarm his son. Deputies say when Clark would not surrender the gun, the father retrieved his own weapon. Deputies say the video continues with Mario Clark running back into frame, sprinting toward his father and firing shots. They say the father returns fire in an obvious fight for his life. The father then called 911. Our patrol deputies were able to make contact with the male outside of the residence and were able to detain him. He still had the firearm on him at that time. I'm going to bring forward these scriptures. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to hurry up so this phone don't act up. But it says uh, Ephesians 6 and 1. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And uh, and that's here, that's even in the New Testament. You know, again, uh, it's a damn shame, the world that we live in now, that you have uh, men that are holding themselves accountable to read and bring forth the scriptures, but they're lying to you. And I'm pretty much mainly talking about uh, the pastors that's in the church. You know, I loved my dad dearly. You know, I didn't know him. He died when I was a young age, at a young age. But damn it, you know, I, you know, I honored, I honored my father. You know, but um, Sirach three and one it says, uh, "Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be safe." And I believe it's another one in uh, Proverbs. But again, like I said, uh. I just uh, try to do a video before this doing the same topic. And at like the 22nd mark, it just cut off. But it says, For the Lord had given the father honor over the children and have confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honor his father maketh an atonement for his sins. You know, again, because uh, it, it, it goes into it. But pretty much, uh, you know, when it tells you that um, how it is, um, how uh, what is it, Sirach? If I can't remember, pretty much it says that it's ten ten things I found delightful in a man and a woman, a man and a woman, a man and his wife did a gift together, and it tells you that uh, the children, the the honor of the child, the honor of a man is his children, you know. And it says, um, you know, a woman, a mother that has sons, she's supposed to, um, you know, whatever his son, his father uh, iterates in his mind, she's supposed to distill that in his mind. You know, he's not, you know, a mother is not supposed to belittle or tear down the image of, 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 of the son's father or the daughter. You know, you're supposed to pretty much uplift her husband so her, her, her children can have something to delight in. You know, a son that has a father, a great father, he's going to say, I want to be just like my father, you know. But when you tear down the image of um, a father, your son, he he don't have nobody to look up to. So he looks into different and wicked shit. Same as a, a daughter. But as whoso honor his father, make him an atonement for his sins. And he that honor his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Whoso honor his father and shall have joy of his own children, and when he make of his prayer, he shall be heard, you know, because it says, uh, whoso honor of his father shall have joy of his children. And that's why a lot of so-called black, Latino, Hispanic boys, when they, um, man child, man, man children, they don't, when them not knowing their father, they pretty much, uh, when they have offspring and bring seed in this world, they pretty much don't, even, you know, they, again, they don't know how to be a father, you know, and then they, it, it just, it's like I said, it's a continuous cycle. You know, it says, he the honor of his father shall have a long life, 
And he that is obedient to the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. You know? Um, because, you know, if your father was, especially your father's in the truth, and, um, you know, you honored your father, you would uh, walk in his footsteps. And then, you know, here it is, the Lord will pretty much look over you so your mother wouldn't have to wor be out there wor wor worrying about you. But he that feared the Lord will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. He says, Honor thy fa father and mother both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of a father established the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooted our foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father dishonor is no glory unto thee. So tearing down the image of the so-called black Latino Hispanic man, it shall be no honor unto, unto you, man. So you shouldn't be on this bandwagon to keep fucking tearing down the so-called black and Hispanic Latino man. Because you're only making yourself look fucking bad. It says, for the glory of a man is from the honor of his... There you go. For the So if your father was 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 a man of gold, hey, you're going to, you know, pretty much... That's going to um, rub off on you. Because I, I, like I always... Uh, I always say, you know, if you had a, a, a you know, a father, a great dad growing up, and it's, uh, you know, it's funny because I've been finding a lot, finding out a lot about my father, and you know, as soon as you know, I mentioned my father, you know, people, men get happy, you know, they tell me good things. I'm not saying my dad was perfect, but um, you know, I I, I have given, I have gotten honor, you know, I've I've gotten not honor, but I've gotten glory, you know, from my, you know, from my father being, you know, a, a good man. A decent man, you know. So it says, "For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children." So again, um, you know, if your father was a great, uh, decent guy around the neighborhood, and if he has a son, he gonna be, "Oh yeah, man, that's uh, that's such and such a son, man." You know, that's a, you know, they'll see, you know, that son will come around, and then you know, men will say, "You know, oh man." You know, you, your father was a good dude, man. You know, he said did this and did this and did that, and then your, that son will hear that, but damn, you know, I, I want to be like my father, you know. But it says, "My son, help thy father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understand, understanding faileth, fail, have patience with them, so you see what that boy, that 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 fucking dreadheaded nigga should have did, you know, seeing that his dad is old, is older in age." He should have had some compassion and understanding why his dad didn't want him to have a, fu a firearm in his house. You know, he should have just put his goddamn gun back in the fucking car. You know? But, hey, again, our, our people are destroyed, man. That's why two-thirds got to fucking die. My son, help thy father in his age and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if understand it fail, have patience with him and despise him not when thou art in thy full age. For the for the for leaving of thy father shall not be forgotten. And instead of sins, it shall be added to build thee up. So again, you know. Yeah, see, here it is. In the day of thine affliction, it shall be remembered that sins also shall melt away as the ice in the fair warm weather. So it says, he that forsaketh his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is cursed of Yahweh. You see that? So it's very important to honor thy father. So Exodus 12 and 20 and 12 honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the lord thy power giveth thee and that's pretty much plain i'm gonna go ahead and end it Sh shalom